The ITIL process map presents ITIL in the form of easy to read process diagrams and documents. And one of its nicest features is that the contents are well organized and you can easily find the information you're looking for simply by following hyperlinks. But there are hundreds of diagrams and documents in our product and literally thousands of links. So in this short video, I'm going to show you a couple of recommended ways of moving around in our process model. The ITIL process map includes a front page diagram, kind of a portal from where you can reach all content. One of the more important links is this one up here, pointing to the top level diagram. If we click on that link, this will take us to the top level process diagram with an overview of the ITIL service lifecycle. We can see the familiar top level processes from ITIL, such as service strategy, design, transition, operation, and continuous service improvement. Now, from here, you can start drilling down to examine the processes in detail. For instance, if you want to learn more about how things work in service operation, you simply click on the link in the service operation shape to go down to the next level of detail, where we find a diagram with more details about service operation. In particular, this diagram shows which processes there are in service operation and the information flowing between these processes. From here, we can go further into, say, incident management. Again, we take a link to open the next level of detail, and as expected, this will open a diagram that explains what's going on in incident management. And then we can go down once more to the lowest level of detail available in our process model. To see precisely how incidents are being resolved in first level support, we take a link again, which will open the sub process diagram. In these diagrams, we always have a bottom part with one or several swim lanes, where you can see the activities to be performed in the process, including the responsibilities for the activities. In the upper part of these diagrams, we show what inputs are required for this process and where they come from, and which outputs are produced and where they go to. So with the links up here, you can jump directly into a subsequent process where you can see, for example, how things go on in second-level support. In the top part of this diagram, where we have the process outputs, I can also show you that from here you can open the checklists or document templates that come with the ITIL process map. For instance, you can click on the link in the incident record shape to open the checklist for the incident record, which explains what information is typically contained in such records. If we close the checklist again and then move to the top right in this diagram, we can see the superior processes to this process. Right now we are in a sub-process of incident management, and with these links we can go up again in the hierarchy of details. First up, one level to the overview of incident management, then upwards to service operation, and up once more to the top level diagram from where we started. Obviously, our whole process model is organized as a hierarchical structure with several levels of detail. So it makes a lot of sense to also provide diagrams that show the complete process structure. There are five such diagrams, one for every stage of the ITIL service lifecycle. This one here, for example, shows on one page the whole hierarchy of processes and sub-processes in service operation. Of course, you can open the corresponding diagrams for each process from here, such as the overview of incident management. Or you can jump directly into an incident management sub-process with a detailed account of the process activities. On the front page, you will also find a link to the RACI metrics, which can also be used for navigating the process model, starting from a role perspective. Suppose you are the change manager. Then you can search the metrics for the processes where you have some responsibilities. And because the process names here in the RACI metrics are equipped with links, you can open the visual diagrams directly from here to find out precisely what are your responsibilities in the process. So, as you could see in the short demonstration, there are several ways of navigating the ITIL process map and all of them work with hyperlinks. 
But of course, if you are an expert user and know your way around the folders and files that make up our product, you can also open the diagrams and documents directly in the Windows Explorer. In the checklist folder, for example, you can find all the checklists. And if you need to make some change in, say, the incident management processes, nothing speaks against looking for that file in the service operation folder and opening it in Visio directly from here. It's really up to you to decide what works best for you.